This is the new MKS DLC32 CNC control board from Makerbase. You can use this board to control your CNC machine wirelessly over Wi-Fi and even use the MKS Laser Mobile app. Today I will show you how to use this board with any machine that moves in the XYZ axis using stepper motors, how to set the firmware, control it and send files wirelessly over Wi-Fi, how to use the mobile app, touchscreen display and more features of the board. So let's get started. The board is available for sale on AliExpress for just 14 US dollars. You receive the board in this package along with the USB cable. Upon looking, the board has a decent build quality with good quality parts and soldering. The board is built on the ESP32 WROOM32U chip which is a dual core 32-bit microcontroller with built-in Wi-Fi capability. The board features 12 and 24 volt power input with DC jack. USB A slot and micro SD slot. Three stepper motor driver slots for the X, Y, and Z axis with micro stepping switches. Additional pins for external drivers. Three end stop slots and one slot for Z probe. Multiple power outputs. PWM control for laser head. Spindle control and buzzer. SPI slots for display. Control switch and a 10 amp safety fuse. Now let's set up the board for first use. It comes with pre-installed firmware from the factory, but I would suggest you to update it to the latest firmware. The firmware can be found on GitHub page of MakerBase. Download the MKS laser tool. Select ESP32 download tool to flash the firmware. Download the latest firmware version for the display size of your choice. Power the board with a power adapter. Connect the board via USB. Select the firmware file and click start to upload the firmware. Once the firmware is uploaded, simply restart the board. I then designed a case for the board, 3D printed it and attached it onto my 2D plotter which I have converted into a laser engraver. You can check the video over here. You can use any GRBL controller to control the board. In my case, I am using laser gerbil. You can also connect the board to Wi-Fi after which you will no longer need a USB connection every time to operate the board. But it is required to set up the Wi-Fi for the first time. To set the Wi-Fi, open the MKS laser tool. Go to Wi-Fi configuration tool, select the right COM port and hit connect. Enter your Wi-Fi name and password and click connect Wi-Fi. Once connected, click on Get IP and you will get an IP address starting with 192.168. Copy this IP address and enter it into your browser. This will open the ESP32 web controller. Here you can see there are many options to control the board. Also there is a terminal window where you can enter G code commands. The ESP32 web user interface is similar to that of Laser Gerbil. You can control the board. Enter G code commands and even set the parameters such as steps per millimeter, resolution, acceleration, and maximum speed under settings. I was easily able to control the laser engraver using the web browser interface. And the best part is, the board automatically connects to my Wi Fi every time I turn it on. And wait, there's even more. Megabase also has a mobile app which lets you use the laser engraver through any smartphone. The app is available for both Android and iOS. Simply download and install the mobile app. Go to the top left menu for connection. Make sure you are connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the board. Enter the IP address we received in the MKS laser tool and hit connect. Now you can control the board using the mobile app wirelessly. Make sure you have an SD card inserted on the board to send and store files over Wi-Fi. There are four menus in the mobile app. You can go to control to move the X, Y and Z axis and set the desired home location. In create mode, you can draw using a pen, write text and even import pictures from your gallery and create a file to engrave. You can also adjust the size, speed and laser power. This will create a file and send to the board to engrave. The graving option lets you browse through files on the SD card and to engrave using the laser. I found the mobile app very handy and useful to operate the board. 
the Wi-Fi works seamlessly and I can easily operate it with my smartphone. The board is also compatible with this TS35 touchscreen display by MakerBase and you can also use the display to operate the board. Connect the EXP1 and EXP2 flat cables as marked on the board and display. Overall, I found the board to stand up to expectations as all features work as advertised and I am very satisfied with the features offered such as Wi-Fi connectivity, mobile app and touchscreen display. I would definitely recommend this board as a replacement for the Arduino Uno CNC Shield setup and I am looking forward to use this in upcoming projects. Until then, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.